the office and raised it to a higher level. And I want to continue to do this. Thank you very much, Pastor Joe. Thank you for putting this on. I think it's very important. It's a pleasure to be here tonight. I'm actually a Lyon County resident. I live in Dayton, Nevada. So it's great to be here because I can find out who I want to vote for in the general election. So this is excellent. Now, let me start off with this. Nevada, as you all know, is in a severe financial crisis that's affecting each and every one of us. So now more than ever, it's important that the people of Nevada have top-notch financial government. This office has control and it's a very vital and important office. I'm the first CPA to be elected in 50 years. I am CFM, Certified Financial Manager, and I'm the only CMA Certified Management Accountant in this race. Being a CMA means I've met the highest professional standards for decision-making, support, planning, and control. And those are critical components of what the controller's job is. And let me tell you, I've used those skill sets on a daily basis in this job. For over three decades, I've been a CPA and a management accountant. Most of that time, running my own successful accounting practice. When my clients came to me, they came to me because of my experience and qualifications. They knew that I could help them to be successful in their businesses, that I could help them to save money and to make money. So when you choose your controller, you want to choose your controller much like you choose your accountant. You want to choose them based on their experience and qualifications. I've been recognized by my peers on numerous occasions. In 2003, I was named one of the top 100 most influential people in accounting in the country by Accounting Today. And in 2006, I was named Women's CPA of the Year of the entire country by the American Women's Society of CPAs. I've been active in my profession. In 2003 and 2004, I was the International Chair of the Institute of Management and Accounts, the world's leading organization for accounting and finance professionals. I've also been, I'm still a member of the Nevada Society of CPAs, and I served on their ethics committee. During my first year in office, I established a disaster recovery system for our statewide accounting system down in Las Vegas. This will allow our state to operate in the event of an emergency in the state capital. And I have to tell you, we already tested it out. This winter, in December, when we had all that snow, and my staff couldn't get into work to print the checks, and they're all panicked, I said, not a problem. Call Las Vegas. Hey, you guys need to print the checks. They did it. They printed the checks. Everybody was happy. Not a glitch. Not a glitch going out. Um, and also, the best part about doing this, this is where we save some money. We were able to do it for a half a million dollars less than what the state IT department said they could do it for. Yeah, right. So as controller, I mentioned I'm responsible for collecting debts owed to the state. When I came into this office, I started looking at what we were collecting. We were collecting an abysmal 4 to 11 percent of our debts. Right? No wonder we have a budget problem. And so with a few key changes, I have actually improved our collection from 155 to 300 percent. And I'm not done yet. And one of the things that we did is we used an open source technology solution to create a statewide centralized database of our debts. What was taking, um, it was a very manual process that my staff had to do, with spreadsheets and cutting and pasting. Now it's all in a central place so they can spend more of their time and focus more of their resources on going after those debts. And when we did that, because it was open source, we saved over a million dollars on that project alone. As controller, my number one priority will be to protect your money and continue to bring the baddest finances into the 21st century. I want to continue these kinds of fiscally responsible policies to improve our state's efficiency in every way. Every dollar we save is a dollar that can stay in your pocket or maybe can go to our state education system. We need help there. That is why I'm asking for your support and your vote. And vote for me, Kim Wallen, as your state controller. It's easy to remember. Kim controls. Thank you very much, everybody.